Yee-haw! And welcome back to the Southern Snack, where life is too short to be serious and things don't always go perfectly. But we're going to do a two-part review on this. Uh, you know, I love scooters enough. I'll be back. I'll be back in Carolina. I'll be back for another review. Um, so what's going on? Why, why are we going to have to go to scooters twice? Well, A, when I went to the app, I forgot to order the new quenchers that they've got. I was thinking the only new fruity drink they had was the Fruit Duos, which you have so many possibilities. I got the wild berry with the strawberry. So that's the only one I was really like super interested in reviewing, but you've got all kinds of flavors, right? So up to you on what you want to do, but I'm going to kind of give you a guideline on, on that one at the very least. So S'mores is back. We got all the s'mores drinks. We got the cold brew. We got the latte. We got the freeze. Kimmy was like, "You gotta go. You gotta try the freeze. They do the freeze the best." I'm like, "Okay, fine. I'll do the freeze for once. We'll we'll do that." Um, s'mores cookie. Also got that. But again, quenchers and pretzels. We'll have that. I uh, doubt it's going to be included in this video, but maybe I'll leave the opportunity open. I don't know. So we got our drink carrier. Of coffee and fruity duo drink thing and we got our s'mores cookie and now you got a thumbnail to stare at so yeah um where do we start i guess we'll start with the s'mores cookie make ourselves get a little bit thirsty and then you know we'll strike from there so yeah let's try oh, we're gonna go for that bite right there where the the marshmallow and the chocolate chunk it looks like a grand base cookie, so let's give it a try. Keep in mind, you can get this warmed. While it's not the most high quality s'mores cookie you ever have, it does hit the flavor really well. Very reminiscent of the s'mores cookie that Crumble has. Um, you know, just the ingredients aren't quite as bougie as Crumble. So, gotta appreciate the effort, gotta appreciate that they nailed this. Um, I'd give it eight and a half. It's slightly dry and, you know. All right, where are we gonna go next? Uh... I guess I'll go with the latte, then the cold brew, then the freeze, and then we'll finish it off with a fruity touch. So, latte, cold brew, freeze. Scooters, s'mores, latte. You would think, if you've got a really good s'mores cookie, they would nail the latte. I'm just not getting a lot of s'mores. It tastes decent. A little chocolate forward. Maybe Kimmy's going to be right. Yeah. I'll give it like a six. It tastes good, but it's just not giving that s'mores vibe. All right. So on to the cold brew. That I have lost. There it is. And you don't need a straw for that. We'll go ahead and stick the straw into. I hope that's. Yep, yeah, that's the freeze. So, cold brew. Losing that. Uh, losing that cold brew because it's that's the foam is going on in. So, yeah, let's try the s'mores cold brew. Refreshing cold foam. Coffee tastes good. A little bit more of the s'mores vibe. But still not s'mores enough. It's refreshing. For me, that gets a seven. Again, I'm asking, where is that burst of graham and marshmallow? Like, we're not getting that same vibe that we got for the cookie, right? The cookie was spot on. 
but we want the coffee to be spot on too. I don't I want to have to crumble up the cookie, mix it in there to get those flavors. All right, so here's the freeze. Doesn't look like they take graham cracker or anything and mix it in. Looks just like chocolate and flavoring. So let's see. Let's see if the freeze is it. It's refreshing. Yeah, it just doesn't scream s'mores. Like maybe some tones of it. Like with, with the cookie, you you could tell the vibe, right? You could tell. I was like, okay, that was s'mores. That nailed it. But with these, I'm just not quite getting it. No, it's mostly just like maybe chocolate and vanilla. Not yeah, vanilla, I'm sorry, marshmallow. But we're looking for that gram. It's it's better than the ice latte, but I don't think I like it as much as the cold brew. I'll give it a six and a half. So yeah, I disappointed would be would be the word. I mean I'm not I don't hate it. It's like I've had bad coffees, but like the flavor there just Came up way too short. Way too short, my friends. All right, so moving on to the end. I'm mad at this lid that keeps popping off. Like, what's the reason? Is there whipped cream on the corner? I, I don't know. But strawberry, wildberry duo. Let's try the top here. I guess it's like a smoothie. Not a great one either. Let's go in and get some strawberry syrup. Way too much syrup. Mix it in. I mix it, I guess. This thing is a little, it, it, the texture of it when you drink it's not thick, but when I gotta stir it, oh man, it's, it's feeling kind of rough out of here. All right, hopefully I got a little bit of mix there. So let's drink from not quite the bottom. I'm not super impressed. The strawberry's strong. Oh man, I'm tired of this lid. I'm, I have to find somewhere to put this thing. The strawberry strong, but the wild berry ain't. It's not bad though. I mean, it, it's I don't hate it. I just wouldn't recommend it. I give it like a five. Right? It's a very muted, like mixed berry flavor, and then the strawberry syrup does add a lot to it. But like I, I, I ordered this for wild berry, so I wonder if I order like a wild berry drink. If I could do the duo with the wild berry syrup, I guess you could. I don't know what the point would be other than like in this situation where the, the wild berry drink base wasn't strong enough. But uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I'm not super impressed with that. So yeah, um, hopefully when we come back for the pretzel bites and the quenchers, it's a little bit better. But the highlight of this video was the cookie. And it's crazy because we're, we're not at Crumble Cookies, we're at Scooter's Coffee. Anyways, that is your new Scooters review. And other than that, I'll see y'all around.